Welcome, Welcome back, back to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest, friendliest place on you! Ted is leaving the volcano, and we're going to go right back into the volcano. Why did you start me in this room, then? With a spring that obviously- ah! <laughs> Sorry, the spring <laughs> is the exit. Well, it looks like the spring is the place right. to go, because I, you know, right. it's been a week since I played. Okay, right. okay, we got rocky guys, we got things, we got a job pass. Hey, you gotta go down, there's a secret. What? Yeah. Well, I don't know these things. Remember you, the thing ow! the thing that we talked about uh, off camera right before we started the episode? You did not tell me <laughs> I about did! This. I told you, you're gonna start the episode and go this way. I was not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you responded as though you were! Dude, I mean, it's it's clearly... Um, <laughs> our relationship is a lot more like a marriage than I thought. <laughs> hey, I got some free stuff, is that it? And you already thought it was quite a bit like a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, already. Ah! <laughs> At least that doesn't actually hurt you. Can I just, like, use it to go forward? No. Um, no. You It always sends you back. But sometimes, uh, uh directional. it can be Garbage. beneficial. Ah. I know, it's and it's tough with the joystick, oh. too. Oh. You might want to try the D-pad <laughs> if you're having trouble. I'm not having trouble. This is easy. <laughs> well... If the goal is to jump into the lava, then yes, you're correct. It is easy, and you're not having trouble. I'm the best at that. <laughs> okay, serious. Oh, you, you weren't being serious. Well, I was kind of being serious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were, oh, we were just getting to the volcano in the last episode, and we had to quit recording for the day. Yeah. By the way, you don't need to fight anything. I did a little grinding off screen, and we were. I figured we're well powered. Uh, He's so already gotten all these boxes. I well, I think we got them in the last. I think you're right. I got a little. I got last one. Somewhere in this. Okay, place, you but. can sneak by this guy, or you can fight him. But oh. those those enemies will come after you. Yeah, I there. This is not a bad grinding spot for those of you who are looking for one, and looking here of all places, Mario RPG Part Twenty or whatever this is Twenty Three. <laughs> I think it's 23. I came here for the how-to! <laughs> uh, but Mallow's um, Thunderbolt... Oh, I hate these special guys. ...works well. I know, they're rough. <clears throat> and right in the beginning, you get enemies that will put, like, five easy enemies on screen at a time. So it's a good amount of experience, but you can kill them all with Mallow's lowest... ...spell. Yeah, and uh, then all the other... Shot. And then that one guy takes forever. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like 33 experience a shot, which is not a ton, but if you're not leveled very well. What's okay. all in our storage box? I'm just going to fight this guy. A the other bunch of stuff. Playing. We could just sell it. But feel free to use the things. Um, like some items, I don't know if you can't use them. No, his butt's the only thing left. Yeah, just the body. Uh, body them. The body will sometimes do uh, a fatal thing called oh, like migraine. Oh, Yeah, and then it's gone, but it'll take out a party member. So sometimes it's best to attack the body, and then Get the head just the collapses, way. yeah. You're doing a great job <laughs> You were doing a great job dodging those enemies. I'm pretty sure you can handle one Magnus. Mangus? Well, it doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. So he doesn't dead. have a name. In death... He does have a name. His name <laughs> was Robert, Robert Paulson. Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lisa and I use use Robert Paulson all the time um, as like a a reminder for things. That's Did, have I ever talked about this before? Uh, no. So every once in a while, we'll do a little bit of like nonprofit consulting, right? Because you have, have talked a lot of experience about that, in this. But I understand that you're talking to our old dwellers. Oh, you missed. You missed too, you stinking goober. Yeah, they're terrible at not missing. Also, he will never die until you jump on him. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That would have been good to know yesterday. I was thinking about, like, maybe allowing you to cause, like, 1,500 Five. damage <laughs> against him and go, What's the deal with this guy? <laughs> maybe I should have. Um, well, now I can jump, right? Yeah. So, Robert Paulson. Oh, we're almost out of flower power. Oh, yeah, that you... would have been impossible. Well, you oh, could have run, run away. away. And I do think, like, the specials will get them. Um, Let's use a flower tab. Do it. Oh, that's right. X. Button. Yeah, they want you to do it with X. By the yeah. way, he's going to come back to life. Yeah, I know. I'm running. Okay. I'm running. Running, running, and running, running. But Robert Paulson. 
So, um, every once in a while, there'll be a situation in, in business or in um, nonprofit stuff, basically any time you're working with people, will you have an, where you'll have an opportunity to Robert Paulson somebody, mm. which is like promote them before they're ready for it. Because oh. if you remember in the movie Fight Club, yeah. Robert Paulson wants to, the guy, Meatloaf, yeah, wants to join the Oh, cult. fight that guy! Oh, I should fight the guy? I mean... He wants to join the cult that they're starting cool. or whatever, right? And so he's outside and the guy's like, you should just go home! You know, they're trying to basically kind of berate these... Yeah, cult, yep. Join these... They uh, have to stand there for 72 applicants. hours with no food, no water, no encouragement. Right. And the first guy comes out and says, like, you're too fat! And then he, like, picks up his stuff like he's gonna leave. Right. And then, um, the main character... Comes out and Edward he's like, Norton, he's like, hey, listen. He's like, hey, it's okay, you just gotta stay here. He kind of helps him, and he's like, oh, okay, and so then he like stays there. But the one guy who dies in the mission is that guy. Mm. And so we talk about it all the time, it's not like, it might not be bad for you as an organization to promote somebody early, but it could be really bad for that person. So what you're saying is Robert Paulson is a prophet. And so you don't want him to be a part of a non-profit organization. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he could be a part of it. You just don't want to, you know, you don't want to put somebody in the wrong spot or like, you know. Yeah. Um, there, there are opportunities where like you can. Yeah, promote them before you're ready. That makes or, sense. Um, or like help them. In yeah. A safe, like when they were in a safe environment, you help them get through it. And you shouldn't have. You should have let them fail in the safe environment, so that right. way they don't go in a dangerous environment and try. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Because the discouragement is designed to weed out those who need to be weeded out, which is a healthy process. Right. So don't, don't have compassion on and water and fertilize the weeds in your garden. Yes. Or the whole garden will suffer, and the weed will, it will win. Die. Uh, he's magic or bust. Uh, no. We did decide we that of... a while ago. You could you could do what you like. Let's do some more magic. I think at this point it doesn't really matter. That yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, that's interesting. Uh, I remember he calls him too fat uh, or too old. And you're too You're too old, old fat man. <laughs> <laughs> you're too fat, grandpa. Something like that. Yeah. But then there's two guys there later and he's Can like Can you jump? No. You can't jump. You're too old, oh, yeah. and you're too blonde. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're too blonde, and that wasn't meatloaf. That was uh, uh, thirty seconds to Mars guy and the Joker. I forget. Ah, oh, shoot! I punched the guy. Stop jumping on him. It's dead. Well, you got to think about one thing at a time. I can't. I am incapable, as uh, many people experienced last night on our Minecraft live stream that we did. Oh, by the way, I heard you thought someone was Chi, and it was not. <laughs> well, it was. Chi used to be Chai Panda. Like, that was his thing. Yeah. And But then he realized he had spelled it wrong. So yeah. then he was Chi Panda. But there's somebody else called Chai Panda. <laughs> so I was like, did he change his name and start a gaming channel? That's funny. And then give the uh, stream moderators a hard time after multiple warnings. <laughs> Doesn't sound like Chi Panda. Yeah, no. That's, I mean, that's just, that just happens. You know, you got people in there. Right, everything. it's not and a then huge they deal, but. Trying to promote their own channel. That's it's really thing. interesting to sort of have my finger on the pulse of the um, Discord and then hear talk, people talk about like how the stream went and, you know, Ted's such a nice guy and I, ho I hope I wasn't wasting his time by uh, having him respond to me and stuff. And I'm like, wow, people take it really seriously, you know. When I do when a streamer or YouTuber like acknowledges them. Well, so many streamers out there don't. Yeah. Especially once they've reached a certain size. Because it does become quite unmanageable. Right. And then and then it can be harmful because you spend so much time acknowledging that you don't actually do anything in the game. Although Beastman had a good point I saw somewhere in some chat or some comment where he's like cooldown mode in the beginning of the streams. Where it's like if you comment, you oh, can't slow comment mode. again for twenty seconds or yeah. something. Yeah. What about what about the cooldown mode? He likes. Well, it? just that it would uh, maybe help 
stem the chaos of the beginning of the stream where you're trying well, to do as many shout outs as possible. Oh yeah, and I did do that. That actually worked really, really well. Oh, ah, well, excellent. Ooh, check out this cool dude. Yeah, he's hey. too cool for school. This yeah, the slow mode might is, be, is oh, it's good. not. There's a bottomless coin box hey somewhere. There. Phew, so those footsteps were you oh. for a minute. I thought I was hearing things. I'm Cinder Toad. This place is a regular, <laughs> this guy's totally, uh, Macho man, this place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. Hey, you made it all the way here. You must be the cream of the crop. Rising to the top of the cream. Oh, so there's three shops here. You go to any, uh, oh, we don't need him. Yeah, any of the desks, and he scoots right over <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Armor shop. Yeah, see if dude. there's anything new here. Let's see what we oh, got. We got a fire shirt, fire cape. Wow, man. Whatever he's got on right now is really good because yeah. he keeps, but we don't need him to be more defensive. We want him to be more offensive. Well, everything's worth buying with the, like, obviously, except for possibly the cape. Yeah. And yes, we've so got the money. We've right got 3,500 coins. I'm going to skip the cape. I want Gino to be more like a glass cannon. Yeah, that's fine by me. That would have been the decision I would make, too. And did, those, shop. did those equip? I did. I equipped them in the menu ah, instead of canceling this time. I, th I thought you would. Party cleanse. Mm, parties refresh during battle. It's a party enema. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have a party enema than an enema party. <gasps> oh, <gasps> F Zero. Well, Star those Fox. two are F Zero, and that's Starfax. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Starfax. <laughs> if you're buying a star, check out the star's <laughs> history on Starfax. <laughs> I'm the Starfax Carfox. <laughs> Don't forget to go the right way. The right way? Well, you have to go in and then out the way you didn't come in. In here? Yeah. I thought I did. I thought there was only one way out. Back the way you came? Oh! Mm. I thought that was the way I came in. I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I get it. Now, <laughs> look how he follows us out. Dude, it's when you're eight. thinking about, like, stuff, and you're playing, and you're talking, and you're listening, it, it can be easy to... This is what happens okay, to me so when I play Tears of the Kingdom. Minecraft yesterday. Yeah, Dude, how'd that go? It was, it was really fun. Like, 30 or so people were all playing together in uh, Minecraft and just kind of helping to... We, I kind of, like, just reset all my stuff back to zero, and... Started a little community, maybe like a commune, I guess, <laughs> off on the side, like very far away from spawn and stuff. Like but the early church in the Book of Acts kind of commune? Yeah, yeah. The oh, kind nice. that works. Okay. Um, hey. uh, but uh, we started that, and it was fun. Like, we kind of started trying to build, like, an iron farm and, you know, stuff like that. So it was a good time. Oh, the head doesn't just fall apart. Oh! He does. It only took the game of moment <laughs> to correct to me. prove Peter correct. Uh, by the way, your gauge is at 100%. You could use a triple move at any time. I could. Get out of here, donut, jumpy blob. I know it's it's perilous because those will shake and drop. But you also have the dudes in the way. Take that. So it's hard to know how to handle it. Ow! That hurt me one. Uh, I am going to uh, preempt my next comments by saying absolutely not attempting or intending to go political here. Oh, Peter. Well, it's interesting when you talk about like the Minecraft <laughs> communism idea. Oh, yeah. It's like communism can work if everyone is super like selflessly generous and moral. And good luck finding a group of people who are selflessly generous and moral. And then keeping it that way instead of having people then join the party, which is a clever double entendre. <laughs> the party. Well, what I what I've heard from some very smart people is like the idea of communism stems from the fact that families generally work pretty well because yeah. everybody's common interest is very aligned. Right. And well, so and you, you have, have a small group of people that are, that need each other for everything. Right. It makes sense and people will make decisions that benefit everybody because it's also a selfish decision. Right. But as soon as it becomes like you can make a selfish decision and it doesn't actually negatively impact you, there are some, you know, there there's a certain percentage of people in every situation that are going to choose that. Use a triple attack. Okay. Fine. <laughs> 
but I wanted to use the one where everybody gets healed. Oh, I'm about to die. we'll swap some people out. Can I swap? Uh, not on Mario. Not on Mario. Turn. See? Here, well, just I, attack him. He's got a good physical attack. I know, but I want to heal Mario. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and especially with like parents, it's actually quite selfless because oh, I got a free one. you, uh, you, your kids require you for survival. You provide every, like, it's like from each according to their ability to each according to their need. The kids have a lot of needs and not a lot of abilities, and the parents are vice mm -hmm. versa, and that and that works out fine in a family. But it's it's interesting because... It starts to break down the bigger the group gets. Well, That's similar the, pros and cons of, like, the early church in Acts or the Minecraft community, a, a commune, can apply to uh, our own democratic constitutional republic because <laughs> not to the, get too political <laughs> well the founding fathers said it takes a moral people for this style of government to work mm -hmm. and the government doesn't work as well as it used to and the morality of the general american public is not what it used to be in yep. my opinion so it, it's funny though because usually those people are on opposite sides one are like communism boo america yeah or vice versa but really it's like well, you just, you gotta do it right. The Either czar way. Dra Speaking of communism, we got a czar oh dragon. Oh my gosh! You killed all four of those dudes! Well, that's Heck why yeah, I brought I it up. I knew the czar dragon was coming. But just by punching the main guy, there was enough, like, shockwave <laughs> damage that all four of those little dudes were like, Oh no! Oh! Dude, princess. Can't block this either. Ow! That hurt some! Yeah, it does. She Princess is a lot more effective in Breath of the Wild than she is in Super Mario RPG. You get a shock again. Do it. You could probably drop a snowman on his butt. <gasps> that would have been really good. Snowman attack. I mean, he's your basic fire elemental. Try blasting him with a... Just a Geo Beam. Well, Should keep an that? eye on. Well, you've got 14 FP left. I know. So using Geno Blast better kill him. Otherwise, or I'll have you're to use handicapping one of those items. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And use a turn to. Why didn't you hold down A? I pushed it once. Dad, <laughs> it says hold A for power. You use 12 FP on that and you, you sent a 5% strength attack. <laughs> it was an accident. Look, I killed him. <sighs> And now we can use a flower a tab. This is why I play for 90 minutes between recording <laughs> sessions, guys. Because <laughs> it's essential in order to... Uh-oh. From Peter according to his <gasps> ability to Tad according to his need. Oh, no. Now we have to waste a turn on an item getting our FP back. No, he can... Yeah. It's Zombone. Yeah. I don't know if Snow will work on him. See? It's free didn't cost anything except a turn where you could have done damage well you know hmm okay hmm. press a just as the bolt lands i know how to do his this is the problem peter you have more practice than i do well yeah but it says on the screen every time his weakness you select is it. lightning perfect get out of here okay i'm gonna fart bite your head this is all foes, all foes, attacks an enemy, Geno Whirl. Press A prior to contact. Okay, this is the normal kind. That one's really tough to time because it goes so it fast. Goes, it is pretty quick. Okay, shock again. <coughs> this one too. But I got it. You know that Zombone has bad breath. Or no breath. Bad no- oh. somehow both. Oba. He's oh, not breathing, oh, but his mouth just smells like, uh, like, uh, something offensive. <laughs> you fill in the blank yourself. Dirty you be meat. as offended as you want to be, but know that it's your own fault. Oh boy, two HP. That's oh, I've better. got as much as I need. He did get pretty low. Um. Ha-ha! Nice block. Oh, I can't block scream. Oh, but I've got a resistance, though. You can block it with your, your, uh... I think I'm just gonna shoot him. Equipable. Everybody knows that zombies are actually allergic to bullets. Oh! Two in a row, dude! Not, Get out of here with not, that. Oh! 
No, I want this. Not bad. Not bread. Oh, that might do it. Nope. He's got a lot of HP. Hey. For not being alive, he sure has a lot of health points. Hit points. Are they health I points? I did it. Or I hit beat points? him. You did beat him. I beat the Zombone. And Princess Peach leveled up. HP, baby. For hot princess. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> Until next time, basic dollars, you think that you are more of a hot princess than... Oh, young princess die before she died. Oh. Like Lady Di. But not like how her hair is dyed. No, but, but die, die like, like how, how she, she died. died. In, In the, the basement! basement. Hey, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, maybe even consider subscribing to The Basement for more stuff like this. And as always, a huge thank you to our patrons and members and subscribers over on Twitch. You guys make The Basement happen and uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you very much and we'll see you guys next time in The Basement.